hurricane evacuations are a lot harder than people think, and they're only going to get more challenging in the future. I just spoke with two disaster preparedness researchers who are based in Florida about this entire situation, and they explain why evacuating isn't as simple as just packing your bags and leaving. So there are a lot of logistical barriers here. You have to think about where do I go? How far is safe? How do I make sure that this safe place that I'm going to is going to be okay for my kids, my grandparents, my dogs, my cats? Some people may be unable to afford a hotel. They might not have means of transportation to get to a shelter. Some people might require more medical assistance, and for that, you need to find out where special needs shelters are. People's perception of risk also plays a role. For instance, if you're someone who rode out a hurricane four, five, ten years ago, and you were completely fine, you might think that this time around you'll also be okay. But in the state of Florida, there's been a lot of development, and that changes the way that water moves. Claire Knox at the University of Central Florida points to Hurricane Ian in 2022. There were a lot of new developments that were impacted by flooding during that storm. Lindsay Peterson at the University of South Florida, who evacuated herself, says that there's a huge mental and emotional component to all of this too. Some people get this odd feeling that if you stay, you might be able to protect your home from damage from the storm. But in really severe storms like this, there's not much that you can do. There's also a lot of emotional attachment to home. Peterson finds this a lot in her crisis management work with older adults. This might be their last homes. Everything in their life is in this home. That makes it more difficult to leave. In the future, Lindsay Peterson says that these kinds of large evacuations are only going to continue to be an issue. As populations continue to grow and urban sprawl spreads and climate disasters become more frequent, more people are going to be affected. So she says that it's going to take everyone, from scientists, the top public officials and lawmakers, and the public, to plan ahead.